Hey guys, it's Shannon here again with Summerana. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use our new smoke bombs that we have that we've been working so hard on. And so we really hope that you guys love it. So um, obviously with smoke bombs, there's so many different ways that you can use these. Um, obviously a more traditional way is going to be with the uh, maternity shoots and gender reveals and fun stuff like that. But what I'm going to show you today is more of how you can just use, use it in different kind of creative ways. Um, so for instance, like maybe think of like a, a princess or like a mystical creature or person or whatever and they have um, smoke coming, they just arrived and there's smoke coming out of every, you know, or from around them, they just arrived a poof of smoke. So um, what I'm going to do here is we're just going to kind of play with this. So this is from um, obviously a winter scene that I did and it's already edited. So I'm just going to kind of show you uh, different ways to use the smoke bombs and just kind of drop them in. So let's go ahead and start playing. So um, you can kind of see we have a couple of the smoke bombs. In this case, I'm going to start with the lighter shades, or at least the white one. that You can see it has a little bit of a tint to it, um, but that's okay. And I'm, then I'm going to show you a couple of other different things. But uh, So let's go ahead and do this. Let's start with this one. And all I'm going to do, so these are as PNGs. Um, like all of our overlays and so we're just going to drag and I'm going to drop it into Photoshop. So obviously this is way too big so I'm push command or control T and I'm just going to kind of resize it to the size that I like. So um, for me there's a lot I mean there's a couple of different ways that you can do this in terms of um, where you want the smoke bombs to fall and um, still maintaining your, like your rule of thirds and not creating anything too distracting. So you want the smoke bombs to add to the image and not necessarily distract from our beautiful model that we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press enter and actually I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. So you can drag it all the way to the top like the smoke's kind of going out the top of the screen. I like to kind of keep it in a place where it, um, it isn't leading the eye out of the screen. Not in this particular image anyways. So let's do... Oh, right there, I like it. Okay, that's pretty good to me. And so then what I'm going to kind of do, so you can kind of see where like the smoke bomb drifted out of the frame of the camera, like right there and right here. So if you kind of go over here to, well actually let's make a masking layer. So what you want to do is you want to come down here to the square with the little dot in it. You want to press that. And then you have your masking layer there. Then what you want to do is I like to kind of play with the different brushes that you have in Photoshop already. So you have your brush here, and then I'm going to come up here, and you'll have like these drop downs, and you can buy different brushes and however you want to do it. I think this one is in everybody's brushes. Let me see where it's at. But it's kind of nice to play with the different brush sets that you have. So um, like say, so if you went in here and you picked like this guy, we'll make it a little bit bigger. And you can kind of see... Let's be on black here. You can kind of see like the textures that it's taking off. Make that bigger. So you can kind of do something like that. But let's go back. But anyways, play with all these brushes because they're fantastic and they'll do a lot for you. So um, I'm going to pick this little guy right here. It looks kind of like a cloud a little bit already. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black brush. And I'm just going to start kind of dabbling around certain areas. Let's bring this down just a bit. Mostly on those harder edges. So they kind of start to disappear and they'll kind of fade in anyways. And I'll just kind of tap around. I am using a Wacom tablet. For me, it's a lot easier to edit when I have my Wacom tablet. Um, if you're still using a mouse, that's still totally fine. I just feel like I have a little bit more control when I'm using a tablet because it essentially acts like a pen and it's pressure sensitive. Okay. So then I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to get a bigger brush. Or excuse me, uh, one of the normal brushes. Let's do that. I'm going to bring my opacity way down and I'm going to kind of 
just kind of brush it on in there. I'm going to kind of reveal a little bit of the model just so we can kind of see some details and like parts of like where the smoke was see-through. So maybe like right in here. Because if you have smoke bombs and they're fairly close to your subject, they're going to um they're going to do a couple of different things. They're going to wrap around them. Um depending on, like I said, depending on where you were to put it. So I like to have kind of like that nice realistic effect if at all I can. So it all kind of blends in. Good. And then I up my brush size, or excuse me, um, the opacity. And I think that's an okay size. And I'm just going to kind of fade that into the snow. So black brush. I'm going to take off that harsh line, but I'm going to kind of blend it in a little bit more too later on here. So let's see here. Take off those hard edges. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Bring down my opacity and just kind of tap around there so it kind of fades. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Bring it back in here just a little bit. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab another one. So again, I'm just kind of using the light ones right now. And I'm going to drag this and put it into the image. And I'm going to push Command or Control T to get it the size that we want. And if you hold Shift while you're doing this, you'll see, you know, you have these drag from the corners. If you drag from the corners and you hold Shift, your um, uh, your smoke here won't distort at all. So let's do this. I'm actually going to make it bigger. I'm going to put it about like that. That looks pretty good. I'm going to press enter. And for this one, I want it to look like it is actually behind her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that layer off. So I'm going to push this little eyeball right here. I'm going to press it and then you can't see it. It's still there, but you can't see it. So now I'm going to go over here to this base layer and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my quick select tool and I'm going to select her dress. And a little bit of the coat. And there we go. So then what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do real quick uh, deselect because what I want to do is I'm going to go over here to this layer and I'm going to give it a masking layer. And the reason I did that is because if I left the selection there, um, it would do weird things to the masking layer. So I'm just going to kind of do it like this. So luckily for us, all you have to do is you have to come up here, select, reselect, and your selection is still there. So now I can go ahead and turn this layer on. And then we're going to go over here to this masking layer. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a black brush. And I'm going to do a heavy opacity because we want it gone. And I'm going to brush that off of our model. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I am totally okay with this little bit of smoke leak that you can kind of see it's kind of coming onto her dress because that looks really good and supernatural to me. So let me do, let me go ahead and select deselect and you can kind of see how it falls um, kind of around her. Um, so obviously this part we want gone. So now that we have our selection off, all I have to do is get rid of it. And that works really good. Um, so we're seeing some weird feathering and stuff like that there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a white brush. And I'm on my ma masking layer there still. So I'm going to use a white brush and I'm going to use a low opacity. And I'm just going to tap that on those areas so that weird haloing effect disappears. There we go. 
And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do my blacks and I'm gonna tap around her coat just a little bit, just so that we still have that detail there. And that looks fantastic. Uh, okay, so then obviously there's still this um, hard line. So a couple, I mean, we could kind of do a couple things here if we wanted to. I could just crop it and drag it over and then we don't have to worry about all that and she still falls in my rule of thirds. To me, um, this would be okay if I was going to add something over here because I feel like this, all this space here is just a little bit too dead. So I'd throw in a deer, or I'd throw in something, I don't know. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna leave the crop there. And I'm just gonna go back into my masking layer box. I'm gonna grab my black brush and I'm gonna go to that fancy little cloud shape that we had before. I'm gonna make it nice and big. And I'm gonna just start tapping. to catch up to me here. So you can kind of see it's taking off that little hard edge there. So once my brush starts, stops thinking again, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna change it back to my regular brush, one of my regular brushes. I'm gonna bring down the size and I'm gonna bring up my opacity. I'm just gonna kind of take off those hard edges. So you can see it kind of still doesn't look exactly right. So I'll show you uh, what we can kind of do with that. But I like the way it kind of wrapped around her and you can kind of see that it's kind of blowing over her. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into one of these clouds and I'm just going to do a selection. Let's do this one. There we go. And I'm just doing a circle. And I'm just like, because I like that little edge there. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it to the photo. And I'm going to push Command or Control T. I'm going to tilt it a little bit, make it smaller. Okay. So I like that edge, but there's the, uh, that little, you know, fading of the smoke there. But I'm going to go in here, I'm going to grab my black brush. And I'm going to take that edge off so it doesn't look like it's a cutout. Fantastic. So I actually might do it up here as well. So let's go back in here. Let's grab this little smoke bomb here. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my lasso tool and I'm going to do a circle with this little bulb here. I'm going to go grab my little, um, this arrow and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to push command or control T. And I'm just going to place it right. Let's bring it down. Right there is great. Maybe up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna add a masking layer. So this little rectangle with the dot inside. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab a black brush and I'm just gonna kind of take off that hard edge. And there we go. That looks really good. Okay, so actually there's this weird little halo there. So I'm gonna take this and I think it's just the from the the layer behind it. So I'm going to push Command or Control T and I'm just going to drag it past it. There we go. And press Enter. And then bring it in just a little bit. There we go. Good. So that, I mean, that was pretty, pretty good. Pretty easy. Um, if anything, I might clone in some more snow right there just to kind of cover up that little patch right there. Um, but it's looking really good. Um, I love the way this smoke looked. I love that the tones kind of match the tones in the trees, but should you want to do something like maybe change the smoke to match her dress, that is a really easy fix as well. So um, because I'm working in one of like the 
white quote unquote type smoke bombs. You'll, you'll see because <laughs> the colors are very vibrant. So compared to those, this is definitely white, even though it has kind of like this yellow tint or even like this pinkish tint, but you can use that to your advantage. So um, what I'm doing is I'm, I have one of my smoke bombs selected and all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to image adjustment and hue saturation. And you can do lots with this. So you can make it darker if you wanted to, you can make it lighter if you wanted to. So like if you wanted it really bright, we can, we can do that. Um, I kind of liked it the way it was, but what you can do is you can come up here to your hue saturation and you can start playing with the colors of the smoke itself. So if I wanted to get closer to what her dress color is, I could probably stay kind of somewhere in that area and um, it would match her dress. And then, or you could go, you know, the other way. And if you want to do like a complementary color, you could kind of hover in the purples or, you know, something along those lines. But again, I kind of liked it the way it was. And I press the OK. And that looks pretty good there. Um, so one other thing that I would do, so I actually do want to show you one of the bright, brighter smoke bombs. So this is fantastic. I know like like I said before, a lot of people really like to use them for their um, like maternity shoots or gender reveals, but smoke bombs can be used in so many cool different ways. So I was thinking about it, like you could use it for your seniors. So like, so say you have a senior and he's holding a football and uh, you used like maybe orange and blue for his, his team colors or whatever the situation may be. Um, there's so much that you can do with it. Like I said, you can do it in more of like a mythical way um, if you took the coloring out of them, you can use them as clouds in your composite. So there's really, the options are end endless. So if you go into your other color bombs and you wanted to change the color before you even brought it into your own photo, it's the same thing. So all you would have to do is go up here, image, adjustment, hue saturation, and just adjust your slider until you kind of get the tone that you want. Oh, that yellow's cool. So there's so many ways to do this. And if like, uh, like if you don't want radiation green, you can just bring down the, the saturation just a little bit and you can make it, you know, I mean, there's obviously so many things that you can do with this. So like, what if this is like smoke coming out of a sewer, if you're doing like a Ninja Turtle thing, who knows? <laughs> but anyways, um, so those are smoke bombs. I love them. I love how they turned out. I think they're so fantastic. So we really hope that you guys love these as well. All right. So, um, I guess real quick, quick before I wrap this up, I want to do one, one more thing, uh, to blend this in right here, right in front of her dress. So I'm going to do very similar. I'm going to come up here and let me see which one I want to do. Let's go ahead and do this guy. So I'm going to come over here again with my lasso tool. And I'm going to select this one and then I'm come over here. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it over to my subject. Once again, command or control T I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, I might actually make it a little bit wider. Let's see where that puts me. Okay, so I'm going to add a masking layer to it, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to grab my black, and I'm going to start erasing around it so it looks like it's kind of coming up right there. Take off those hard edges. Okay, then I'm gonna come over in here. I'm gonna do kind of that trick again where I just kind of grab little bits and I put it where I want them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna do the same selection. So, um, or at least the same area. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this guy right here and I'm gonna move it over to that original photo. I'm gonna drop it in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit, transform, and I'm gonna flip it horizontal. Command or control T. There we go. I don't know why, where he went. 
Um, anyways, Commander Control T, and I'm gonna bring this down, and I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit, and I'm gonna put this guy right there. I'm gonna press Enter, and then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna add a masking layer box to it, grab a black brush, and take off that edge. So then it looks like, you know, there's an actual smoke bomb right here, it's around her, it's on both sides of her, um, and it looks pretty good. I like it. So anyways, I hope you guys like this. I hope um, it kind of sparks some creativity and different ways that you can use the smoke bombs. Um, one thing I really like about this is I know in my area we've had, we have a lot of really great tourist low spots like natural forests and different things that people like to go view, the Garden of the Gods and stuff like that. And we've had problems with people leaving trash around and to the point where photographers aren't actually being allowed in certain spots anymore. So with these overlays and different things, it kind of keeps our um, our parks and different things clean. Um, so that's why one reason why I love them so much. So anyways, I hope you guys do too, and I hope you find lots of ways to use them, and um, make sure you share with them in our group. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.